Hey guys, welcome to another Squarespace tutorial. Today we're going to be adding Facebook Messenger to your uh, Squarespace website. So if you've been contemplating adding a live chat to your website and you don't want to, you know, sign into another third party uh, software just so you can talk to people who are on your website, uh, Facebook Messenger is a lot easier because I'm sure most of us have Facebook um, installed on our phones anyways. So you can respond to people pretty much from anywhere. Um, so when people come to your website, they'll see this Facebook icon. It'll be open by default. Um, so it'll, well, I'm signed in as myself, but, um, it'll, you know, appear as your page. So whatever your page is called on Facebook and people can just talk. So continues Vigasin and right here. So I just did a test, but, um, people can type, you know, all that kind of stuff. It's just like Facebook messenger. Um, so to get that, um, started, the first thing we're going to do is go to Facebook and then you're going to go to your page. So I'm on my own business page, but you'll obviously see yours. Um, at the top, right, we're going to click on settings. So once that's done loading on the left hand side, now we're going to go down to advanced messaging. And if we scroll down where it says whitelisted domains, so right here, we're actually going to put in our actual website URL. Um, so for me, I would put, you know, analyticmarketing.com. But what I did was um, when you're on the back end, like editing Squarespace, you're, you're going to see a URL that's not your actual uh, actual URL. Um, so we have to add that in as well. I mean, you don't have to. It's just if you don't, you won't see this icon while you're logged into the back end. So only people that are visiting your website will. Um, so it's a little bit harder to debug. So I actually like to add this one in there as well. So just copy this and take out the config part. So it'd be all of this. Um, it's okay if you have that slash. Uh, it's not really important. So we copy that, we paste it in here. So I already have it pasted right here. So without the config at the end, and then also my main URL is here, and then you hit save. And then once it says save successful, then on the left hand side, we're going to go over to messaging. So once we're in messaging, we're going to scroll down and right here where it says add messenger to your website, we're going to click on get started. Now here's the first thing that pops up. Um, you can read through it. I'm just going to hit next. Um, then you pick your default language. So, you know, if your website's not in English, you can pick one of the ones that are available. If your language isn't available, then I would say pick whatever is the second most common that people speak when they come to your website. Cause, um, until Facebook supports it, there's no way we can add more languages. Um, then your greeting. So right now, for example, on my website, if you pull it up, it says, hi, how can we help you? Um, so you, it's the default, but you can click change and you can change this to whatever you want and then hit save. And then we're going to go to the next. So now this is custom color. So you see how on my website, it's um, the orange color to match my brand instead of this blue Facebook color. So that's where this has changed. So you would just click, you know, right in here, enter your hex value. So let's say you want it uh, black. So, oh, sorry, that's zero, zero, zero. So that's black. So if that's your brand color, you can put that in and then we hit next. And then what we're going to do is just make sure that your domain is listed here. It, this should automatically pull everything from uh, the other screen we just did it on. Um, the reason why we didn't add the URL here is it's kind of bugged right now. I don't know if it's going to be fixed, but whatever you add in here and hit save, it doesn't get actually saved. That's the, that's the reason we have to go to the, um, the advanced messaging uh, step that we did before this. So just make sure your website's in here. Um, and this should automatically be checked. So you don't have to do anything there. All you have to do is where it says copy code to clipboard, just click on it. And then as soon as you click on it, it'll copy. And then you can actually hit finish um, and then done. So now we're going to go to our Squarespace website. So I'm just using like a default demo site. That's why it's showing like this. So we're going to go on the left hand side. So you're going to be at this menu. We're going to click on settings, advanced code injection. And what we're going to do is we're going to, you'll see something like this. If you have code for, from other projects, that's fine. Like if you have other widgets and stuff, that's fine. Um, but we're actually going to put the code in footer. Um, the reason for that is if we, if we put it in header, um, this is going to load before your website starts loading and we don't want anything to slow down the website loading. Um, we'd rather the website load and when the website's almost unloading and it gets to the footer, then the messenger can load. So we'll go ahead and put it in the footer. You hit, um, so again, this is where our color was. Um, this is our page ID. So you don't really have to look at this. It's just, um, you know, it's just interesting to see. Um, if you want to change things, you can also change it here as well. So if your theme color is no longer going to be black, you could make it, you know, um, like 
some sort of gray like like this and then so logged in greeting is what people see if they're already logged into facebook and this is what people see if they're not already logged into facebook when they click your messenger icon um so you can change those as well i'm just going to leave it as it is um we'll hit save and we should see the color change to yeah the gray color that i chose so hi how can we help you and then continue as begassing which i'm logged in as um and that's it so you should see it just right there um even if i go you know go to the website while not being logged in so if i you know if i go to the website oh right let me just set up a password i'm just going to show you what the front end looks like just so you can see it so if i make it password protected and then i go in incognito mode so squarespace doesn't know that i'm logged in and then i sign in there you go. Um, you should see it pops up right here. So right now I'm not logged in. So it'll ask people to log in with their Facebook account. Um, but most people, again, are already logged in. It's just because this is private browsing. And there you have it. That's how you um, add uh, like Facebook Messenger to your website. All right. So if that helped, uh, be sure to subscribe because we will be having um, multiple new tutorials throughout the year. And we'll see you soon.